<laughs> Bro, look at the handprint. Nobody pray for me. It been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Basically today, uh, I've been having problems with the Jeep starting. I think it's because the fuel filter's clogged because last time we we learned that if we shake it, and then it'll start right away. So as if something like something in the fuel is like sitting wrong, um, the fuel gauge doesn't work. So I might just buy a whole like new um, fuel pump and everything and like fix everything for the fuel wise stuff because it seems a little bit sketchy. And then I just went into the car and I looked and the fuel filter looks it looks destroyed from the outside and looks super old. So I'm just gonna go pick up a new fuel filter. It's like ten dollars from Pep Boys. Maybe that will solve a problem, but if not, I'm going to order a uh, new fuel pump and everything like that. So, I'll just show you guys what the fuel filter looks like on the outside, though. So, super easy to replace. This is the um, fuel filter right here. All we have to do is, uh, I mean, undo this uh, fuel line, undo the other fuel line, undo that bolt, pull it out, put a new one in, pull everything back in, we'll call it good. So, we're going to go pick that up from AutoZone. Or Me and RJ about to head to, uh, like, Pet Boys or whatever's closest and see if they don't have one in stock for us um yeah hopefully we'll see right now if it starts ready what do you think i just drove yeah. it i think it's gonna start yeah right away it's oh there oh no it only it only doesn't start after it's sat for like six plus hours oh bruh <laughs> off -road already. Speaking of off-road, dude, I have to show you guys something that's like crazy. So, if you guys watch like any of the videos where we're off-roading, we're usually in Zion's car or anytime we go to the cliffs, and it's like a Toyota 4Runner, and he actually just like crashed it really bad. So, I'll show you guys a picture right now. Look at that, like. This car is fucked. When are you watching? Why are they beating that? <laughs> I bet that's some fire though. Probably. Yeah, look what it is, bro. Snickerdoodle cookies are like something in the middle of it. Why? Hey, Hello. We went to the Miata. Yeah, she was fire in the Miata. RJ, RJ finds the stupidest shit cool. A, a portable gas can with a handle. You thought it was cool. These are them. Okay, this is them. I gotta figure out which one it is. Um. Yeah, I'll be like, wait, what was it again? Thank you. It's an F59, F59161. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See the power of the chocolate milk mm -hmm. chocolate. Let's do it. Got the fuel filter. Hopefully everything goes smooth because the fuel filter is super easy. And this should only take us like 10 minutes. And then I can drive it. All right, we're about to pull this old fuel filter out and see how this goes. So step one to changing the fuel filter on the Cherokee, um, you're gonna open your gas cap and let all the air out of there, just a safety type deal. It's really, it's really just a safety thing, but. I should've got stuck under the car. What is it, your belly? My chest, like my actual chest. My chest. It hurts your so chain's bad. about to get ran over. No. Uh. <laughs> 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 I can't breathe. I can't breathe. How, how scary was that? I'm not scared at all. I'll do yeah, it right. again. I do it again. Back. Bro, look at the handprint. Oh my god. Alright, and then you're gonna come up to your fuel rail and you're gonna release the pressure in your valve up here, this little. There's a little valve up here. Ow, fuck, this shit's hot. I also brought a catch, uh, catch pan out so I can, uh, when you pull the filter out, there's gonna be fuel that comes out, so. So I'm just gonna start with taking off the fuel lines with the screws that hold the clamps on, so, uh. Oh! 
fuck. Fuel, but why was there so much pressure? Are you able to get it, you think? Yeah. Over the top of that. <sighs> Let me see. I'm so... Oh, there we go. So just change the fuel filter out, but with seeing with how much fuel came out of it, it almost seems like it's getting clogged after the filter maybe. Because like there was a bunch of fuel coming out of the line, like that was, it seemed like it had so much built up in there that it was not flowing properly. Now we're going to see if it will start. I'm kind of scared it won't start because uh, I don't know. We'll see though. Do that about three times. See if it doesn't start it. Okay, ready? It's gonna start. You think so? Yeah. Got that light. Is that what you stopped? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. It did, I'm not gonna lie, it started a lot better that time. Huh. Sorry, right on that. I was like, wow. Well, that's how you fix a. That's how you put a new fuel filter in a Jeep in like, what was that, 10 minutes, babe? Huh? That was like 15 minutes, huh? We'll see you tomorrow morning. It's always in the mornings when it doesn't want to start. So we'll see. Also, I, like, I don't think I showed you guys, but my exhaust is like cut right here. I think it sounds tight. I think it's pretty badass. I like it. Now I gotta let RJ drive the Jeep. Oh, focus, gang. No. Then that one looks fire and red, honestly. Head hard right. Oh, okay. You're gonna run. Remember when we would do donuts and wheelies at gas stations? No. On the Shout out RJ. He's throwing 10 bucks in the tank. Kill the lights, push that thing all the way in. I also put a Mexican blanket back here now. It looks fire. RJ a real homie. RJ filled up, put 10 bucks in and cleaned the windows. The Jeep? I right, bet. Say no more. For free though. Looking ass. Oh, hey, if a moped video ever hit 2 million, I'd give it to you. That means if I pay for it and a moped video hits 2 million, then just give it, you have to pay me back. <laughs> If, if a moped video hits 2 million, I'd give you this to you. Anyway, so that's gonna do it for this video. I thought I'd just show you guys um, us changing the fuel filter on the Jeep. I really hope this fixes the problem. Um, basically, the problem was that if I let the car sit for too long, uh, when I go to start it, no matter if I prime the tank or not, it just wouldn't start at first. And then I figured out that if I shook the car, then it would start. So I would started thinking that once maybe it sat for a while on the fuel level I dropped, that it was getting clogged in the filter and wasn't able to pass through smoothly. So I got a new filter. If that doesn't work, changing the injectors, because these are like single port or whatever they're called, and the other ones I read, you can do like a forehead swap on them and it's like way better. So um, yeah, but that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Make sure to leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. If you like the Jeep stuff, leave a comment below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Look, look at where the spray bottle is. Swooped my spray bottle. Oof. Well, today on how it's made. We're doing window tank. Well, it's made by um, you get a John and you get a light. And you have the John learn how to hold that light. When you wake up that morning before you get this book, don't eat cereal. No dairy. Dairies are caused by tsunamis. <laughs> Milk dairies, that is.